Welcome to Dying Light. I just realized I've been talking for the past 30 minutes and totally for forgot to hit capture. But, um, the new open world zombie horror, horror game. It's not really a horror game. Um, made by Techland. They, uh, the people that did Dead Island. So they, they have some pedigree, but again, they're Eastern European and so there's a lot of problems here. It's kind of like a mix of Assassin's Creed and Skyrim in a way. Um, some people consider it like, oh, it's like Fallout, but it's 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 not. It does have a little bit of similarities, but uh, Skyrim is a more is a better uh, uh, choice because with with Skyrim, you're mainly doing um, melee, or you know, there's very there's not much range. You know, you can do magic and all that stuff, but there's not much range. And Dead uh, and Dying Light, you pretty much it's all melee. There is guns you can pick up, but they're pretty shitty. So I never played Dead Island, and so I never understood the um, the uh, the analog. And I guess they gutted it out, and it's more of a parkour. This is on the PS4 version, and I am recording at 1080 30, and so it is a little bit compromised. It's from my comparisons uh, on, when you're in the open world, it it you could totally tell it's compromised. There's very little detail and all that stuff. Um, some. You can look it up online, and you can see it's even worse than low settings on PC. But when you get inside, it looks pretty good. It looks sharp and all that stuff. So this game is also like Assassin's Creed, where there's parkour and you want to jump over the roofs. There's two worlds, two two sections of the map that you explore. This one is like kind of a, you know, kind of like more like Assassin's Creed, while the other one is kind of, kind of like a um, you know. More, a little bit more open, so it's harder to traverse. Sadly, just like any other, just like every other, unlike every other open world, there's no fast travel, which really pisses me off. So, you, say if you're at a safe house, you can't fast travel to another safe house. And since you're at two different maps, you have to go back to the um, to the one air one major hub. I think where it is. I think it's right over here. Yeah, here it is. Fast travel to uh, the slums is what it's, they call it. Oh wow, you can get it over here too. Oh wait, no. What are, what are these? Get inside into the sewers. Hmm. But it's 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 it would be really nice to have fast travel because some of the some of the parkour is not as fluid as um, you would say Assassin's Creed. So let's uh, let's get down to kill some zombies. Oh okay. So let's talk, talk about while well, we're killing zombies. Let's uh. See if I can make this. Here we go. So we got two bars on the top and middle. One's agility and one is power. Power is leveled up through uh, just like Skyrim. You, you kill shit, you're gonna level up that shit. If you jump shit, you're gonna level up jumping. Kind of like that. You know, softly, basically, kind of ba based on it. So the more I kill, the more I run, it's gonna level up. So let's see here. So we got 20 there for agility. And 16 and all that stuff. So it's it's pretty 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 easy to understand. Sadly, you you're gonna get power faster than agility because it's so much easier to kill zombies and it's kind of hard to um kind of hard to uh you know get good parkour because it's not smooth. See right there, I repaired my um repaired my uh weapon. Oh wow, so new one. I've never seen that guy. There we go. Take his. Um, other things around the map are uh, there is traps and all that stuff. There seems to be a you know half a dozen different special zombies. There's these hazmat guys which um, have tanks on them. If you hit the tank, they can go flying up and explode, which is really cool. But they're like pretty docile creatures, just like the horde. But they can be deadly if you um, hit them wrong, or say if you. Uh, you uh, you know, shoot them with a tank, and you get too close. There we go. Where is he? He's up above. There we go. It it would just would be really nice if it was a lot smoother, like Assassin's Creed. Um, the the motion blur is kind of nuts for this game. It it gives me a headache. Not a fan of motion blur. There we are. So there's just random encounters you can uh, you can do here. 
because I got too drunk. It's a very interesting story. Okay. My friends, Heinrich and Felix, said they didn't drink enough. Why? Be immune to the disease I don't know. There's just random encounters, so let's um let's pick one up here. There's um Ah, here we go. In the first zone, the slums, they call it, you get airdrops. In the second one, they're just already there. They At a certain point in the game, uh, they just stop sending airdrops. And so, now just airdrops just spawn. Where is he? You can set web points and all that shit. Um. When you progress, you can have the ability to activate traps, uh, like this car. Go. Again, as you level up your. Uh, let's see. Let's go up here. Nope. Is it here? No. You you can. Let me just show you off the uh, the the skills here. The um the survivor rank is what you get from like doing quests and all that stuff. And then once you get to a level twelve, you can have a grappling hook. This changes the game a lot. Um, it adds a little bit. Allows you to traverse a little bit better. Then, uh, Jesus Christ, that is some fucking popping. So you do encounter just like random human beings that are total asshats. Let's see here. Fuck. There is some. Oh, there, there he is. Come here, come here. Go. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! 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 You can't use it to, um, sadly, you can't use it to grapple, grapple zombies to you, but you can use it as a little damage. Go. It's in your life. There we go. Cool. And then, of course, I can reset that thing, too. Nah, just cutting these fuckers out. Super easy. When, w once you get litter on, you get a, like a, you can get swords, which are like the best guns in the game, with best weapons in the game. So let's see what we got here. Right, here it is. Oh shit. Oh god. Whoa! Frame rate seems to be pretty decent too. It does drop, but it does take a lot to drop. The image is pretty compromised here. Here we, here we have got a guy here. Here we go. Oh, there's a big guy down there. Let's see here. So there's all sorts of blueprints and all that stuff you can create. Um, the weapons are not weapons, they're just upgrade weapons, utilities, like lockpicks and all that stuff. You could, it's kind of like Sky, it's Skyrim in that way. Throwing weapons, flares, uh, are used to, are you, they're UV flares, and so at night you would use those flammable liquids so you can, like, burn shit, Molotov cocktails. What's nice is not, you're not making one, you're making five. You can also make grenades and all that stuff. Uh, let's see, um... So, I think sometimes you're going to encounter humans, and I think toxic grenades would be the best. I don't know if what's better is a... Hmm, shrapnel grenades or a... DIY, DIY. And you can even make throwing stars and all that stuff. And it's 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 really nice, you know. Again, I'm making eight, so I have tons of, uh, tons of these things. You throw them onto your equipment bar. So there we go. And Molotov cocktails. And wait, wait, wait. There yeah, we go. So I'm hitting left button here. Let's so let's uh, let's get some Molotovs here. Jesus Christ! Are they ever gonna stop coming? Your big guy down there. Yeah, there he is.
just gonna throw a grenade. Molotov cocktails at him. Then explosive. There we go. There we go. All dead. And of course, as you make noise, they, uh... Jesus Christ. They will, uh, more will come. There we go. Of course, I can pick up his, uh... Come on, die. Here we are. It, it's pretty much like Fallout in Skyrim. You know, lockpicks are, uh... Shit. Can I get a fucking break here? It just sucks that it th doesn't stop the world. There we are. Open up. So you're gonna get some stuff, and then um, these disaster reliefs on site packages. These, these turn it into your court to a quartermaster, and you get a shit ton of experience. So let's see here. We can turn it in. Just, again, this would love some fast travel. Where is the fucking quartermaster? Is he here? He has to be here. Yeah. Oh, okay, this has to be him right here. So let's go there. It's like shit like that really pisses me off. Like I grapple to something and it just doesn't wanna... Is there another one right here? There is. But it, I don't wanna deal with this. Those guys are fucking... The spitters are fucking annoying as shit. Oh, there he is. There's a... Ugh. Go. So the grappling hook is interesting. So it it um you can use it once and then it resets, or you can use it back to back and it, it takes longer to reset. Which I think is okay. Doesn't make any sense, but it it's okay. Again, it's not like the just cause one. Oh shit. Nah, fuck it. Let those guys die. Those are the bad humans. I think. Nah, fuck it. I don't want to deal with those guys. <laughs> Safe houses are scattered across the across the uh, the um, the map and so you have to clear them out before you can consider them safe houses. Uh go. And give me my reward. Thank you. I thought I wouldn't make it. The hell? There's also a kick and all that stuff. Um, you know, lock picking is from, you know, easy to very hard, and if it's very hard, you're more likely to get better stuff. Grappling hook never breaks, which is nice. And if you do drop it on accident or lose it, you can just go back to the quartermaster and get it. Um, let's see here. Come on. There we go. Here we are. Oh wow, eight games. So there's vendors across the area where you can trade and sell. Um, it's really easy. Certain things you want to sell, like I, at a certain point you, whoa, Jesus, the superior iron hatch. Wow, that does a shit ton of damage. Police rivals, nine millimeters. Let's see here. Let's get rid of that. 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 Why do I have that? Fuck that. Throwing knives. Blah 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 blah. So you get valuables. You can just easily just sell them all. Let's see. Buy some stuff. You know, you can buy a katana. Uh, the difference in quality seems to be more towards the amount of repairs, with orange being the best and uh, whites being the worst. With purple, blue, and green being in between. In that order. 
best to worst. From best to worst, yeah. You can buy all sorts of stuff. Pistol ammo. Um, shotgun ammo. I still have yet to get a shotgun, which is crazy. Med kits and all that stuff. Crazy you can make med kits, but they uh, require gauze and uh, alcohol. Some of this blueprint stuff could be a little bit easier to navigate. Filtering is real nice. You can't make any med kits. I don't have enough alcohol. Okay. And so once you do uh, one of those airdrops, you just go up from here and I get 45,000 experience. Pretty crazy. Let's see here. Rank up. What can I do here? What is this? Get better at haggling. Lower prices. Eh. I guess so. How to create bombs that draw the infected and detonate with three additional effects. Bloating, bleeding, and toxic. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Uh, the storyline is pretty, pretty, it's decent. I mean, it's, you are a guy dropped into a, this area, and, uh, you're supposed to get some documents, but, uh, the, from a company, for a company, and then realize that the company was evil, and all that shit, and then you're trying to redeem, you d redeem yourself to the people when they find out that you're, you're this people, this group of people, and there's kind of one antagonist that, like, he's kind of like, you know, crazy as shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like just going here. Oh, ah, I'm easy, God damn it. it is super satisfying just to kill tons of zombies. Shit. Ah. Let me, um. Put all the top cut here. There we go. Burn, bitch. Um. Throw a grenade. You really don't throw that far. The hell? Oh, there's a big guy. There's a guy right there. And you get abilities as you progress where you can do, like, you know, ground pound abilities. Damn it. So satisfying to kill them. God damn it. It's a barricade, so they cannot get by. Or they kill themselves. So in the bottom right, you see my gun. You can see two squares above it. That's the uh, the added effect. The hammer is how many repairs I have left, and the, the gear type of thing is how many metal parts I have. And that's what you need. The metal part you can get a shit ton of metal parts and but the um the hammer is what how many repairs you have left and that's finite. You can get a perk through your talents that increase the will which will um you know there's a chance that you know it doesn't use one of those things. But it it's it sucks that you're never gonna be able to fully repair, so you can upgrade your, your weapons through upgrades, like um So with these blueprints and all that stuff, but you can also upgrade weapons too. So let's, uh, so it has three out of the five, uh, upgrades. So if I press, um, L2 here, I can put upgrades to increase its handling and damage and all that stuff. But again, it's just gonna, sooner or later, it's just gonna become useless and, you know, fuck it. Fuck it. Doesn't kill them? Um, and then I guess lastly, let's talk about the, let's do the night thing. Um, so this game does have a day-night cycle, which is really cool. At night, you gain double the points, so killing and, and running yields that much more points, which is real nice. So it gives you, you know, an, an incentive to actually do it. Let's see here, come on. 
So what you do, you, the day lasts for fucking forever. But for night, um, you... Uh, comfortable. Oh yeah, there's outfits you can get. They just kind of happen. I don't know how you get them. Let's see. We'll take a bed. Wait. And then now it's daytime. Or nighttime. So, you... A couple moms come up that are, uh, that are UV... UV... Oh, shit. Is it raining, too? Oh, it is raining. I'm gonna put on this electric sword. Turn on that, and then I'm gonna add the, um... Uh, let's see here. UV... Light to that, and... That's it, yeah? I think that's it, yeah. Let's see. So certain mobs come out, so these this uh, bolt are right here. Feeding ground. They they give a certain, you know, thing. You can, they're kind of like on the mini-map, too. See the lightning sparks out because it's all wet. Come on. Ah. Go die, bitch. Ah, oh, here here's the the bad guys here. Oh shit. God damn it. They're uh they're like photo allergic to UV light type of thing. And so they only appear at night. But you if you have a UV light they kinda like stunned. Oh, there he is. See right there. There we go. Kill the fucker. Come on. Die. Oh god, it's getting too much. Oh fuck, 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 grappling hook. Ah. 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 There we are. Pursuit evaded. You will, if you survive the night, Jesus Christ. If you survive the night, you will get, um, you go get, get a shit ton of bonus survivor points. Um, what else? Oh, there's the blotter. I wasn't able to get to it. But I think that's really much it. This game's really decent. Um, again, the problem I have is just it looks visually like crap when you're out in the outside. Uh, the motion blur is uh, kind of um, kind of shitty, but that's that's pretty much it for the game. Um, if you sleep, you will do regen your, your health. It does become daytime. Oh, yeah, survive of the night. You get... Oh, cool. To get extra shit here, I get anything to level? No. But uh, I, if you have this on PC, definitely get it on PC. The co-op is really good. You just drop in, drop out. Um, you can have up to five people, I guess, with the fifth person being a uh, the zombie, and that you kill. But it, when that fifth person comes in, the zombie, it's it turns it into a like a little mini game, like Evolve, uh, where he hunts you, and for for your four people have to like you know, kill these hives and all that stuff. Um, it's not the best, but it, it, it's it's fun. Um, but uh, thanks for watching, as always. 
Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.